So, I'm working on a moped. This is an old Honda Express from 1978. It's a model NC50. I used to ride this when I was a kid, so it's about 46 years old. Uh, I'm taking it apart because I need a new ignition coil, spark plug. I need to clean up the carburetor. I need to make sure the oil pump is blown out. I probably need a new battery, and I probably need new tires. But other than that, it turns. If I get everything cleaned up, it should work. I'm going to have to check all the lights and everything once I get it running. Um, and I looked at the carburetor, and I thought to myself, oh, the carburetor looks really clean until I took it apart. And... It's all gelled up and disgusting on the inside. So, we're going to clean this out. Uh, hopefully get the carburetor ungunked. And all this has to go. But you can see all the carbon that's in there. Uh, the needle. The float. It's really gross. I'm probably going to need another can of carburetor cleaner. Because I'm going to go through it very fast. But yeah. It was disgusting. Um, right now I have the gas tank soaking over on my stoop over there uh, with vinegar in it so that it cleans up. And I keep shaking it because I dumped a handful of marbles in there because it was really gritty on the inside. So I got to get the gas tank cleaned up. Uh, and it's a two-cycle motor. So it actually has this oil feed system, which... That's what this is right here. That's an oil pump. So this tube actually feeds up. You add oil to the gas tank in one spot. You add gas in another spot. And it mixes it itself. So I still need to pull this apart, pull that apart, blow everything out, maybe replace some lines. I don't know yet. Uh, don't know if the stator is any good. But I definitely, I took the ignition coil out. I took the battery out. I got those sitting right over here. Here's that ignition coil. The battery's over here. So I'm going to replace those. I'm going to get two new ones. Uh, this is the frame that the gas tank goes in. You know, my back lights. But we're working on it. But yeah, this carburetor's disgusting. And it needs to be cleaned out. So I ha it looked like it was clean, but clearly it is not. It's gross on the inside. The bowl is nasty. At least all the seals are still good. But the float's nasty. The bowl is nasty. Bottom side of the carb is nasty. So we'll spray it all out and wipe it down and clean it up and see what happens. So this is my uh, project for the week. This thing's almost 50 years old. I used to ride it when I was a teenager. And, uh... I finally got my old man to dig it out of the shed so I could do some work on it. Tires are a little dry rotted, but they're holding air really well. So I got to find out if it's got a tube tire or if it's just a regular bead tire. I have a feeling it's a tube tire, but it doesn't matter. I'm probably going to take it down to the local motorcycle place and just tell them, you know what? Give me two new tires. It ain't going to cost that much. Everything else can be cleaned up. I finally got it. To where this was stuck this lever right here was stuck and that this is how you start it you crank it crank it crank it about four times and then this is actually the rear brake cable you can see that's the rear brakes there's a lever right here and that winds up a spring like a clock and the way to get that to pop and to start it is obviously turn it to run you put your key in turn it on but then you pull the left brake handle which is the rear brake handle and that's how you get to crank and start it's a really interesting old machine i love this thing um i broke the spark plug cap <laughs> But I tried to take it off because I hadn't touched the thing in 30 years. So, and everything goes up under here. But the seat is actually, the seat's in immaculate condition. 
no tears, no rips, no nothing. Um, and then I just got to figure out an air filter for it. So I'll probably fashion myself one out of some ladies' pantyhose or some shit like that. But yeah, really cool little bike. Little moped. Just like 30, 35 miles an hour at the most. But I figured I'd putz around with it and just have some fun because I live in the city and I can mess around and, you know, get here and there and just screw around. So when you lose your driver's license, you got to uh, you got to do what you got to do. I don't need to register this and I don't need insurance and I don't need a license. So uh, public service announcement, don't drink and drive, but have a good day.